What is Asperger's syndrome? Asperger's is a type of autism, and doctors call Asperger's a neurodevelopment disorder, but not a mental illness. It's something you're born with, and it tends to run in families. It was first described by Hans Asperger in 1944, and he made this key observation. People with Asperger's, typically, and he focused on children, tend to be socially isolated. They have problems with communication. There's something off with their interactions with other people. And they tend to miss social cues. Although for most people there's a kind of social intuition when it comes down to simplistic communication, for a person with Asperger's, this is not necessarily the case. A person can speak to a person with this condition and say, hello, and that person in response might not say anything. Where it comes naturally to people who don't have Asperger's, in most cases, to people with this condition, it's not instinctual. Another thing to note about this condition is that people who have Asperger's tend to be very focused. And indeed, typically, they tend to become obsessed with details. Although such obsessive thinking isn't always helpful, it can be beneficial. Knowing all you can about a topic or an issue can have social utility. It can serve you in business. It can serve you as an expert in a particular field. It can, in cases, serve you as a historian, a mathematician, a physicist. Although many people affected by this condition don't have practical obsessions. They could be focused on Star Wars. They could be obsessed with knowing every single road map of their country and region. Or for that matter, the world. Their limitations typically are to do with social interaction. Although they may have the intelligence, they may have the ability to know all sorts of things and express those things, trying to put that across to people in a clear and understandable way can be an issue. It's worth pointing out that people with Asperger's don't have a communication problem. They don't have a problem verbalising their thoughts, in other words. The main problem is instinctual communication how you would act, how you would react to certain conditions in discussion, in social environments. It's typical for people who have Asperger's to have average to above average intelligence. There's also the common misconception that people who have Asperger's lack empathy. This can be asserted by people who don't realise that just because they don't act in the right kind of way in social conditions and in communication, because they don't recognise certain prompting, certain cues for communication, does not mean they're actually not emotional or lacking some kind of empathy towards others. So they have difficulty spotting certain emotional traits, certain characteristics within other people, which can make it seem like they lack empathy. But it's really their ability to understand such things as body language. In fact, it's worth pointing out that people with Asperger's tend to have very strong emotions, sometimes too much, sometimes a little overwhelming, even if their emotional communication isn't always so clear. And Asperger's is not associated with violence. It can be associated with tantrums with young children. And much of this is down to frustration. Sadly, all too often, people tend to confuse certain characteristics of certain disorders and developmental conditions Sometimes people with Asperger's become labelled as narcissists, psychopaths, sociopaths. This is typically down to amateur analysis, where people read a few traits from a website and think they understand the condition fully. It's worth pointing out that due to their condition, people with Asperger's are likely to be bullied because they don't have good social interaction skills. Medication is not used to actually deal with Asperger's. However, there are numerous therapies which can help children and adults to deal with this condition. Although Asperger's is part of the autistic spectrum, many people say this is something of a mislabeling of the condition and really does not relate to most forms of autism in any notable and serious way. There's nothing to fear from a person with Asperger's and a person who has this condition can find help, can find assistance and deal with their condition in a positive manner.
And as modern medicine and psychology, psychotherapy and other relating fields move forward, it may be possible to treat these conditions even more effectively in the future.